from American Family Field in Milwaukee. Today we wrap up this four game. Yo, what's up, YouTube man? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, guys. We are three and zero in this series. We're about well, we're gonna try and sweep the Milwaukee Brewers before we go to Chicago. An easy bus ride there rather than a flight. Um, guys, today. Josh Limbloom is the new, is well, not the new pitcher, but is the pitcher for the Brewers. He is six, oh, he's five, he has five starts, 4 0, 1.71 ERA, 31.2 innings, uh, 23 hits, 12 walks, and 25 Ks this season for uh, Limbloom. And CT3 will lead this game off, hitting 292, five bombs, and 12 RBIs, playing short today for Corey Seeker, who gets the day off. After playing three games into in a row, and the first pitch is going to be hit to left field, and for Josh Limbloom. So one pitch, one out, and now that will bring in Justin Turner, who's back in the lineup today after getting the last game off against these Brewers. And first pitch from Limbloom to Justin Turner will be swung out for strike one. 0-1 oh, now. Row, <coughs> Brewers 15 and 12, still first in the NL Central. 1-1 one one now to Justin Turner as that slider is 75 miles per hour. Wow, that's kind of a slow slider right there from Limbloom. So 1-1 uh, one, one, and now 2-1. and one. All right, 2-1 now to Justin Turner. The 2-1 pitch from Limbloom. Hit down to third. Shaw will make the play. And two away here in the top of the first. So two quick outs for Limbloom to start this game off. And now they'll bring in Bellinger hitting 314. Five bombs and 19 RBIs this year for Cody Bellinger. <clears throat> first pitch from Limbloom. Hit into the shift. A six pitch inning. And a one, two, three inning for Limbloom. Alrighty, got to be more patient, looks like. <coughs> Alrighty, Julio Rios is our starting pitcher. This is his fifth, uh, sixth start, 3-0, 1.93 ERA, 32.2 innings, 23 Ks. I mean, hits given up, excuse me, one hit, I mean, one walk, excuse me. And then 33 Ks for Julio Rios this year. And Tommy Pham will lead the game off. I'm not Tommy Pham. What am I talking about? Colton Wong will lead the game off. I was just watching the Padres game. It was just on TV, and I don't know why I said Tommy Pham, but it's Colton Wong. And the 0-1 slider will be fouled off. <coughs> All right, so Julio Rios in his last start wasn't his best start of the year, so he's looking to redeem himself here in Milwaukee with a lineup who hasn't scored any runs so far in the three games we've played. And he'll strike out. Colin Wong to start the game, so one away. Here in the bottom of the first with the K, and now that'll bring in Daniel Robinson hitting 323. First pitch, strike one. Alright, the 0 1 change up hit. Down to Turner. Two away here in the bottom of the first. Just a double digit winning streak. Right, Garcia hitting 193. First pitch fastball strike one. <coughs> oh, one. Oh, one change up. Oh, and two. Good pitch right there from Arias. Alright, the 0 2 sweeping curve. We'll strike him out in a quick inning from Arias, just like Lindblom. Alright, Mookie Betts will lead off the top of the second, hitting 225. Three bombs and six RBIs now this season. First pitch to Mookie Betts. Ready to deliver. Here comes Will be ball pass. one. <laughs> one out to Betts. The shift is on. One zero. Two and zero now. <clears throat> Probably had his best game of the year yesterday. Hit a home run, single, and a double. Two great and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Popped up. And one away here in the top of the second as Wong will catch it. One away. So, the, <clears throat> so Force sat down quickly from 
Lynn Bloom, and now that'll bring in Muncie hitting 203. Man, this guy's doing pretty well so far in the first four batters he's faced. Only nine pitches and four outs. One out of Muncie. But it took Julio eight in the bottom of the first half of the bottom of the first. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that. Yeah, one one. Hit and fouled. Look at our division, man. Second and third and fourth, man. The D-backs are way out of it. They they are struggling. Nineteen and nine. I mean. 9 and 19 really struggling this year or so. I don't know about them. So far this year, 2-2. Two -two. And fouled off. Good good pitch, but <coughs> better swing for Muncie to stay alive there. 2-2 two -two to Max. The pitch from Lindblom. Inside, 3-2. Fastball. Matt Beatty on deck, hitting 291. Three two. Ball four. So a walk with one away here in the top of the second for Max Muncy, and now that'll bring in Matt Beatty, who's hitting 291, four home runs, and 12 RBIs. <coughs> Playing left field. Might flip him and McKenstry for defensive. This is hit the right field, and a single from <coughs> Matt Beatty. And now that will bring in Zach McKenstry playing second base. Where that's where I meant to put Matt Beatty. So they might switch defensively here soon in a few winnings or right after we go back out onto the field. But now that bring in Zach McKenstry hitting 304. Our utility. Pitch strike one. Four bombs and nine RBIs for McKenstry this year so far. Quickly 0-1. Now 1-1 one, one ball gets away, and both runners will tag up. <coughs> so runners at second and second and third. Austin Barnes is on deck, so if you're Limbloom, you could just walk McKenstry and hope for the best against Austin Barnes. 1-1. One, one. Oh, it should be 2-1. Oh, what? They said I went around with McKenstry. All right, 1-2. 1-2 pitch. Fouled off. <coughs> Kenstry staying alive, getting a piece of that splitter. 1-2. Fouled off again. I feel like Limbloom has to work pretty well with his off-speed pitches, but splitter, slurve, slider, cutter, and fastball, so... He's an off-speed pitcher for sure. He has a lot of off-speed pitches, but that fastball... It's kind of slow, 91, but 2-2, we'll and hit the right. This ball's carrying the right field. Both runners will tag here. McKenstry will get a sacrifice fly, and it's 1-0 Dodgers here in the top of the second. So good job right there from Zach McKenstry, wishing it was a base hit. <clears throat> Maybe could have scored two runs, but we'll take it. And now that I bring in Austin Barnes hitting 146, two bombs and six RBIs this year. For Austin Barnes, so let's see what he can do here in his first AB. First pitch, strike one. That's a slider. A 77, man. At first, I thought it was the slurve, but ends up being a slider. 0-1. And now one and one. Slider away at 76. Wow. Alright, one one. And now one and two. Slurve. Man, that's, uh, this guy has a lot of off-speed pitches, which is really different. I think that's what makes him so good against other teams. And luckily for us, we capitalized early in this game scoring a run. So one zip. Let's go to the bottom of the second. And hopefully Julio Rios can just have a really good outing. <coughs> All right, Daniel Vogel back. The lead off the bottom of the second. Hitting 195. First pitch slider. Popped up, and Austin Barnes will be able to catch it one away. One pitch, one out. <clears throat> and I'll bring in Travis Shaw. I think he's gotten two starts in this series. First pitch, sweeping curve, strike one. 
So for Julio in this game, I want to go at least through six or seven innings. Eight if I could extend it, but <coughs> we'll see. Oh, two slider from Arias to Shaw. We'll strike him out, two away. And that's the second K, I mean third strikeout of the day. Oh, that man, Tyrone Taylor. Half of the Brewers, man, half their problem I feel like is their is their offense, man. Most of them come up with a one something average. I feel like half their players don't, they're not even in the 200 average for their batting average, so. But I think their offense is what's really hurting them, and they got to get something fixed in their offense. Maybe fire their hitting coach and get a new one. One, two, popped up. Ooh, what is this? Okay, what's going on? Oh. All right, one, two. One, two, sweeping curve. And now two and two. Good eye from Taylor right there. Taylor has started a few games in this series. Two, two change up will be hit in. Okay, well, that'll be a base hit with two away. That's a interesting hit. Taylor and uh, McKenstry didn't know who was going to get it, so it just creeped up the middle, and now that'll bring in Manny Pena. Hitting 308. Look at that batting average. So he's been carrying the offense when he's in the lineup, and they've only started him a few times. I feel like Omar Novarez has been starting more in this series. And if you have watched all three games so far, he has started more in the series than Pena. I think 1-1. One, one. The pitch, 1-2. One and 1-2, two. Right, 23rd pitch of the game for Julio Arias. Will be hit, and Turner will make the play. Throw to first a little high, but it will end the bottom of the second. Let's go to the top of the third here in Milwaukee. <coughs> All right, Julio Arias will lead off the top of the third. No batting average, no home runs, but two RBIs this year. First pitch, strike one. That fastball had a lot of movement on it. Is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He oh, one. That. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all. Oh, and two now. <laughs> so, Limbloom is going to throw the hard stuff to Julio, but off speeds to everybody else. <laughs> Come on, it's Julio Rios. Oh, yep. I ch tried to check in one away here in the top of the third. And I bring Chris Taylor 0 for 1. Swung at the first pitch for the game and taking ball one. One zero to Chris Taylor. Two and zero now. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off them. Might have bought himself a fastball. Right, two zero. Popped out to second base. This ball will be caught. Wong will catch it in a jam shot right there. Pitch inside should have taken it for sure, but that uh, Taylor would pull his hands in and rocket it past third, but unfortunately it didn't go the way I wanted it to. 0 and 1. I mean, 1 0. Wow, okay. 1 0. I thought it was strike one, but a ball according to the umpire. This is hit to right. This ball's going to drop for a base hit with two away here in the top of the third, so a base hit for Turner. And now that will bring in Cody Bellinger, who's 0 for 1. <coughs> first pitch. Hit, and what a play from the first baseman in vocal back to end the top of the third here in Milwaukee. What a, obviously we're in Milwaukee. All right, let's go to the bottom of the third here. All right, Arias versus Arias. Luis Arias here being 100. First pitch from Arias to Arias will be fouled off strike one. Change up. 0-2. Oh 0-2. Two. Oh two. Fastball from Arias. 1-2. Oh the 1-2. Sweeping curve inside. Will be hit. Dribbled down the third baseline. Julio will throw it the first. And not on time according to the um, but 
We're going to challenge that. I think we got him. I think Julio got him. Mark Pryor's telling Dave Roberts, put, tell the umps to put that headset on. I think he's out. You got it. If he's safe. Oh, yeah. He's out by a mile. Julio Reyes. Is that Angel Hernandez at first? I think this is a good that must be Angel Hernandez. Look ready and off comes the He's out by a mile, yes sir. All right, one away here in the bottom of the third, and now that bringing Josh Limber hitting Limbloom hitting 231. Shadows starting to creep in over home plate. If you're a batter, you're probably not too happy with that. God, Limbloom looking. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Fourth K for Julio Arias. All right, Wong will be the batter here. Oh, for one. First pitch, change up, strike one. I called him Tommy Pham in his first AB, which was a total accident. Oh, one sweeping curve. Oh, one and one. Oh, the one and one fastball, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Yeah, two, one slider inside. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Yeah, two, two sweeping curve inside from Arias. Three, two. Arias decided to put on the glasses today. I don't know. Three, two, probably because it's sunny. Even though he wears it all the time, no matter day or night. But MLB the show doesn't get that concept yet. All right, three, two away. The change up. Will be fouled off. Oh, three two. The three two pitch will be hit to right center field. Mookie Betts will chase it, and that will end the third inning. Let's go to the top of the fourth here. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Oh, Mookie Betts will hit off the top of the fourth. Yeah, for one is Betts. Strike one. <clears throat> Shadows creeping in. It's hard to see where that ball is right now. He's ready. Here's the and this will be hit to left. This ball's going to carry out of here. Second home run of the series for Mookie Betts. Fourth home run of the year for Mookie. 370 feet and it's 2-0 Dodgers. Let's go. So Mookie Betts is heating up before going to Chicago and I'll take it man. Mookie Betts. He needs to start heating up and he's starting to do really good. And he's hitting lower in the lineup than hitting leadoff but I want to get him back in that leadoff position. And maybe these bombs and what's happening here in Milwaukee will get him back to the leadoff spot going into Chicago. Ball one to Muncie now. Walked in his first AB. One zero. Now this will be popped up into center field. One away here in the top of the fourth. Taylor is right there. One down. And I bring Matt Beatty one for one with a single back in the second. <laughs> Playing left field today. First pitch. Ball one. <laughs> so in the last video I uploaded, I was saying how I really want to get rid of A.J. Pollock. And this is hit the left center field. This will be this will be caught two away here in the top of the fourth. So I could get Matt Beatty more into the lineup, which... AJ Pollock still on the team this Sunday afternoon here in Milwaukee. But will he be leaving with the team? We don't know. Maybe he'll be going to Philly. Maybe he'll be going to New York. Maybe he'll be going to Seattle. That's. Maybe he'll be going to LA with the Angels. I don't know. This is chopped up the middle. This is a base hit for McKenstry. Because I really, you know, I really want to get Kyle Seeger or Albert Pujols. Albert Pujols just because it'd be fun to have him just like the real life Dodgers. Kyle Seeger because he'd be the perfect utility man even though we have a bunch of them in Edwin Rios, Beatty, McKenstry, uh, Austin Barnes. 
you know, he'll play catcher, and then he'll go out and play second base if we need him to, but, you know, I try and stick Austin Barnes to catching. I think I've had him one game this year at second base so far, but, um, you know, A.J. Paul is just, you know, I, I could start making him, you know, the bench guy who comes off the bench and tries to get hits, but that's where Matt Beatty comes in. And, but if I could go out and get a cop, if I could go out and get Kyle Seeger, this is hit the left field, and this will end the inning. Uh, so that will end the inning, but Mookie Betts will hit a home run to lead it off to make it 2-0, Dodgers. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home. <laughs> so anyway, uh, as uh, Daniel Robinson will lead off the bottom of the fourth. So if I could trade Pollock and then start Beatty more at left field and then get another lefty in the lineup with uh, with Kyle Seager, that'd be cool. But out the Albert Pujols trade, if I'd go after Albert Pujols, it's not because we need Pujols. Or, and we don't really need Kyle Seager. But I feel like if we go out and get Pujols, we could have another dominant righty in our lineup, which I feel like that's our lack. That's that's always been the Dodgers' problems. I feel like they have a lot more lefties than righties, but they you know they don't. But you know they they do and they don't. It, it, they it really evens out. But if I could have a righty in a Pujols who has dominant power. And then Edwin Rios out of the lefty, out of, well, from hitting from the left side, you know, with that power, and then Muncy, like, you know, I don't know. And how many days would Pujols really get to start, you know? As in Kyle Seeger, if we got Seeger, he'd be, I'd try and teach him how to play left, or, you know, I'd make his position left, and then in the infield, and, you know, really make him work around, it. because I feel like as a starter here in L.A., you've got to know how to play utility. I don't know. Or, you know, make Matt Beatty my everyday left fielder. Or my Ken Street, the everyday left fielder. You know, one of them. And then, you know, and then, I don't know. I just I just need to get rid of A.J. Pollock, I think. And and I don't know if I'm going to that was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Or maybe somebody else. I just I just don't think I want as that's a strikeout to Julio. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night again. I just don't know if I want AJ Pollock in our in our in our lineup the major league team, you know. But if if I keep Paul up Pollock Pollock. If I keep AJ Pollock, I'm probably probably gonna send him down to the minors, so I can maybe call up DJ Peters or 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 maybe Jimmy Nelson add another pitcher to the bullpen, you know. That's, but I don't want to lose a bat, so I feel like I gotta believe in AJ Pollock. Do I really want to keep him on the team? Yes and no. Because I, I just don't know if I go after Kyle Seeger or Albert Pujols. You guys tell me down in the comments what you guys think. Who should I go after? Pujols or Kyle Seeger? And I feel like, you know, we lose an outfielder. But we gain an infielder. But I feel like we need an outfielder. And I feel like Matt Beatty would be the perfect outfielder or McKenstry. Because McKenstry's normal position is left field. I, I that's what it's set at in the game, so. Um, it'd be nice to maybe have McKenstry out there, but that'd add another lefty as we need righties in our lineup. And, and that'd be the problem with going out and getting Kyle Seeger that I would have another lefty. But I'd lose a righty, but I, I, I wouldn't mind another lefty. The only time, you know, the le having all these lefties really sucks is when you face a left-handed pitcher. But besides that, I like... I love lefties, you know, because they get down to the they get down to first faster. I'm a natural lefty in in IRL, in real life. If you don't know what IRL means, um, as this is hit the short, and this will be a double play for the Brewers. But I think coming from a natural lefty and hitting from the left side, it just feels more natural for me to have lefties in MLB the show. So, 
I don't know ball one for Marias. So I don't know if I go and grab Seeger or Pujols or somebody else. You know, what happens if I go out and, you know, the Giants are doing too good for me to, I think, to go snag Brandon Crawford. And then if I would get Brandon Crawford, I'd want him to be an everyday starter. I need to go out and snag somebody who's not an everyday starter who can play on the bench and come out and do what he needs to do. 3-2 now. Shaw probably not too happy with himself swinging at that one. The 3-2. The changeup will be fouled off. So I just don't know what's going to happen with Pollock. You know, if he's going to stay with us or I'm going to let him go, you know, and or, you know, trade him. I don't think I'll let him go because that affects my, affects my uh, I think it affects my cap. I don't know. 3-2. Hit the left, and Beatty will catch it. One away here in the bottom of the fifth. <coughs> yeah, that brings Tyrone Taylor. But I don't know. Ball one. Yeah, one zero. Oh, the change up. One and one. Great pitch right there for Marius. Let's say, let's start talking about the game instead of tradings. All right, the one-on-one -on -one sweeping curve hit, and this will be a bullet up the middle. And Tyrone Taylor has two hits here in this game so far. All right, that bringing Manny Pena. Oh, for one. First pitch, fastball, strike one. Oh, we got him. Good pick down. Well, good uh, read right there from Arias. Two away here in the bottom of the fifth. And 0-1 uh, still to Pena. A pickoff right there. And we got him. Trapped. 0-2. 0-2 uh, to Pena. Back to slider from Arias. He'll be hit to right. Betts will go out there and catch it. And uh, kind of a 1-2-3 inning for Julio Arias. All right, Bellinger will lead off the top of the six. <coughs> oh, for two and taking ball one. Trying to hit that back throw slider was Lynn, Bl Lynn Bloom right there. Just missed the corner, as they say. That's a Hall of Fame pitch. One zero, two and zero. Strikes the count to the Dodgers center fielder. Two zero to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Two zero. The pitch. Three and oh, two one, good call. Two, one, All right, two one. You know the ALK leaders. I think the most surprising out of that is Rich Hill with 42. This, this is hit the left field. field. This ball's gonna carry. Oh my God, what a play from the left fielder! All right, that bringing Mookie Betts. One for two in this ball game. All right, first pitch, and this will be a base hit for Mookie Betts. Oh, Brett! Oh, I was gonna say I'm gonna try and take second, but the defender Wong right there got back to second. A single for Mookie Betts. All right, Craig Counts has done a pull. Limb blew him out, and now we'll bring in Max Muncy. Oh, for one, first pitch, ball one. Better away from Anderson. We saw him. Game one and game two of this series. One out of Muncie. One and one. Great sinker. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. Two one. Just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side. All right, two one. There goes Betts. And Betts will easily be safe. Three one now to. <coughs> Muncie, and that's the fifth stolen base of the year for Mookie Betts. Gavin Lux is the leader of the Dodgers with 10, I think. 3-1. 3-1 pitch to Muncie. Ball four. So a walk. And now that will bring in Matt Beatty, who's one for two. <coughs> All right, first pitch to Beatty. 
Fouled off, strike one. Hey, if he's gonna execute that curveball, and that's the first one. Runners are scoring position 143 like average this year. Fouled off 0 and 2. Not the best when it comes in, in uh, comes up to uh, Oh my god, hold on. Not the best when it comes to with Not the best when it comes to batting with runners in scoring position, but still a really good hitter. Alright, that'll bring him a chemistry one for one. And this will be hit perfectly to Wong, and that will end the inning. Darn it. That was a beautiful, that was a good sound off the bat. I thought that was going to be over Wong's head, but unfortunately it wasn't. All right, that'll bring in Lu Luis Arias. All right, first pitch from Arias. He has just thrown his 60th pitch of the game, strike one. Oh, one. Sweeping curve popped up. And McKenstry will catch it one away here in the bottom of the sixth. So one away. <laughs> with one away, they'll bring in Christian Yelich. Hitting 221. Like Manny Pena is hitting better than Christian Yelich as he's going to hit this one to first, two away. Where's Lorenzo Kane? That's the biggest question. I know he's on the Brewers. So where the hell is he? I haven't seen him once this season or this series. Hey, first pitch fastball, strike one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers. Yeah, and or one. Looks like one. By the one, look one. On the manager's right, face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. All right, one, one slider fouled. Oh, yep. This will be a foul ball. All right, the one, two change up away from Arias. We'll strike out Colton Wong. And a good inning right there from Julio. All right, Freddie Peralta will be the new pitcher, 2.25 ERA. Austin Barnes will be the first batter he faces. I feel like this game is just going by so fast. This is hit the right. And one away. This game feels like it's going by quick. Alright, with one away, that will bring in Julio. 0 for 2. With 2 Ks. Um, I will say that Julio has done really good in this game. That he will work 7. I don't know if I'll trust him with 8. But one thing what I find crazy is that so far the Brewers has they haven't scored any runs in this series and in our starting pitching has a lot has a lot to do with that because Kershaw had a complete game Bueller went 7 I think Bauer had a complete game and now Julio is looking like he's going to you know, pitch through seven, and then I bring somebody out to finish it, and our bullpen is so rested. Probably for Chicago if we get to the point where we need our bullpen. Dustin May will be the first pitcher who pitches in Chicago. Uh, that means, oh my God, why did I swing at that? That means we'll probably see Jock Peterson game one, which that will be really weird for me just because, you know, I'm so used to having Jock and, you know, that he's on the Cubs now is a very weird situation as a Dodger fan. And probably for him, I don't know. As this will be a base hit for CT3 with two away here in the top of the seventh. But, who knows how Dustin May does in Chicago. Our starting pitching uh, through these few games, you know, these four games in Milwaukee, you know, we got Kershaw. Bueller, Bauer, and now Julio. They've all done really good. And and can Dustin May feed off how good they're doing? And yes, we're going we're to be against a whole different team where I'm going to have to learn, you know, different pitch sequences and, you know, what makes the Cubs struggle, obviously. 1-1 uh, one, one now. I kind of know what makes the Brewers struggle. You know, sliders away, they've really struggled. Backdoor sliders, I feel like every team really struggles I've faced this year. And and the one thing I think about our starting pitcher, as yes, that's one two good pitch right there from Freddie Peralta, is that our offense or not our offense, our starting rotation. Oh two two, oh bull. All right, that'll end the inning. But as I was saying, our starting rotation, everybody can pitch through innings. Everybody has really good command of the baseball, and and that's what makes our lineup. I mean our pitching rotation. 
so damn good. Our 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 off speeds really good. Our our fastballs are really good. Oh, uh, one and two now. Our K's are really good. Our ER like our whole starting staff is just probably we're the best starting staff in baseball, obviously, right now. And and I think our pitching staff will be the reason why we get to the World Series. As this will be hit to McKinstry, one away here in the bottom of the seventh because. Our offense, yes, our offense is good, but, you know, Betts, you know, for half the season so far, he has struggled. Muncie has struggled. You know, and right now, as this is going to be a chopper, what a play from Julio, two away here in the bottom of the seventh. You know, and right now I'm starting to get Mookie Betts to start really getting hit. Um, Bellinger's kind of... Uh, you know, struggling, I feel like, here in this series. Seager was kind of struggling here in the series, I feel like, here in Milwaukee. So, you know, our offense, we score a run, and I know my pitching staff can carry us. Yes, I got to be careful with some pitchers. You know, like Blake Trinan, how we pulled him down into the minor leagues just so he could get some work, because in this situation, I'd love to use Blake Trinan, but I just couldn't trust him. And that's why he's working in the minor leagues as this is a 1-2-3 inning for Julio here in the bottom of the seventh. And he might even go a complete game. He's looking really well. Really good here. All right, Eric Yardley. This will be the first time we see him in this series. Uh, bringing Bellinger hitting 0-3. Uh, Bro, I hate pitchers. I hate seeing pitchers. This is going to look bad. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four this series. Fouled off 0-2. Oh, I hate submarine pitchers, so like I said, this is going to be bad. If I swing at one that's way outside the zone, like far as hell, it's just because I can't read submarine pitchers to save my life. Here comes another 0-2. Oh, no, one, two. One and two. Two and two. Two All right, pretty good AB here. Right here. Does not want to run the count full. Set. Here's right, the two, two, two. two, three, two. Three, Look, full count. count is that misses, it's three that is on deck. From zero oh and two to three and two. What a great at bat to start <clears> three, this inning. Hey, this could be a productive inning. All oh, fouled off. All right. That, time, but he's that looked like a, a slider. To keep this at -bat going. But it was a curve. Okay. Three, two. And strikes him out. Good pitch right there from Yardley. Now they're bringing Betts, who's 5 for 10 in this series. Two home runs and three RBIs and two for three in this ball game. Hopefully I take this dude deep with Mookie again. I wouldn't mind another Betts home run. Oh, jammed him. Oh, one. no one will get this one. I dislike some marine pitchers. Alright, oh one. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? One and one now. Oh my gosh, one two. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. Two and two now. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Well, that's pretty much a no-brainer right there. If a guy misses that bad on a curveball, you've got Three, to throw another one. Oh, yep, base hit for Mookie there. Betts again. Finds its way into Three for four in this ball game for Betts. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking <coughs> super solid at the plate. All right, first pitch. Oh, bro, that should have been a balk. Betts will be safe, though, I think, yes. Second stone base of the game, but bro, let's take a look. What? I don't know. That was the weirdest pitch ever. Even though I have box off, so. One zero. It's a slide step, and since it's a submarine, I think it just glitched. All right, two zero. Three zero now. Three zero to Muncie. 
walk, fly out, and I'll walk. And hey, strike one. one. <clears throat> Alright, 3 1. 3 1 pitch. There goes Betts, and strike two. Alright, 3 2 now with Max Muncy. Up, 3 2. Corners come in. 3 2. Hit right back up the middle. And it's 3 0 Dar Dodgers. Here in the top of the eighth, so if you're Yardley, that hurts because you were trying to keep the Brewers into the game, and Max Muncy's hiked over there at first base. All right, that bringing Matt Beatty, one for three in the ball game. Single, fly out to left, and a ground out. First pitch, ball one. Slowing the game down here in the top of the eighth for sure. One zero. 2-0. This year against right-handed pitching, Beatty is exactly a <coughs> one for three hitter. That means a 333 yeah, batting average. You want to talk about having a career season. It, this is hit the left center field. The roof, the this will be a hit for and maybe more <coughs> Beatty and uh, Muncy will get the third. Well. That'll be a double for Beatty, actually. I was just going to leave it to a single, but once I saw the throw was going to third, Beatty took off the second right away, and that will bring in McKenstry. That's his second hit of the Two game. for four Beating game for Beatty. We'll see now if this game proves to be All right, that bring in McKinstry, one down. for two. To the plate now. First Zach pitch, McKinstry. ball one, ball gets away. Muncy this will come home back. and it's four zip Dodgers. And uh, <clears throat> Beatty will advance the third. Muncy scores and, and Eric Yardley is really struggling here, 1-0. Fouled off 1-1. One, one. Alright, 1-1. 2-1. One, one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. 2-1. Right, 2-2. Two, one. Two and two. Good change up. I'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get to count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. All right, two, two. Three, two. Good eye right there from McKenstry. Barnes is on deck. This is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's throwing a bunch of pitches, and this AB has and ball four, so a walk. Definitely laboring at the moment. And then now, now that'll bring in uh, Devin Williams. Devin Williams. And then that will bring in Barnes, who's 0 for 7 in the series, 0 for 3 in this ball game. <clears throat> first pitch to Barnes. There goes McKinstry. He will steal second easily. 1-0. First stolen base of the year for Zach. I didn't know that. <clears throat> so gets his first stolen base of the year. We're going to start warming up the bullpen. And let's go with Joe Kelly. No, let's go with... Yeah, let's go with Joe Kelly and David Price. Just in case I decide to pull Julio. It just... It's all depend, it all depends on what happens here. 1-0. Alright, 1-1. Good cutter. Hey, that was a big pitch right there. You fall behind 2-0... You get this hitter count one, leverage, one. he probably tries to ambush a fastball. One one count. He's got a really yeah, one two good cutter away. Great game one and two. Count is one and two now. Beatty, the runner at third. McKinstry is over at second with one down in the inning. All right, fouled off. Great Staying alive. Up, and he did a good job just to make contact. All right, one two. Again, a one two. Two and two now. Balls and two strikes now. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. All right, two, uh, two, two two. Three and two now. Julio on deck. If you're Devin Williams, you have to be aggressive against Austin Barnes. Three two. And the only reason why I'm saying that is Austin Barnes, man, 0 for 7 in the series. One 
36 average. And 0 for 3 tonight, or today. Fouled off. The Barnes does have two home runs and six RBIs. And one of those home runs are off of Blake Snell. I do remember that. 3 2. And ball four, so a walk. Really good AB from Barnes. All right, Julio will get in that bat here. Another one. First pitch. Ball one. Uh, strike one. Couldn't check it. Long top of the eighth here. Oh one. one. One and one now. David Price and uh, Joe Kelly in the bullpen. Two and one now. You put yourself in a situation, you got to get yourself out of it. Two you one. At the plate, two oh count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. Two and two now. <laughs> Julio trying to hit a dinger right there. He knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here. All he's trying to do is avoid two the two the pitch from Williams fouled off. All right, here comes the sixth pitch of the AB, the 2-2 to Arias. Will be fouled off. Just throwing the fastball, Williams. Like, come on. Be I don't know why they're throwing so much off speed. 3-2. I mean, the 2-2, excuse me. 3-2 now. Chris Taylor on deck. You can certainly tell at bats like this one. Frustrate the heck out of a pitch. Three two you now to Arias. Out off. To make <laughs> Look at a Julio fighting here. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination. Ninth pitch of this at bat against Arias. Three two. And a strikeout finally with the cutter. Arias is pissed. First K for Williams, and now that will bring in Chris Taylor. That was a good swing time, too, and I missed it. That hurts. All right, first pitch. Fouled off 0-1 now. Taylor hitting 364 with runners in scoring position. This season, 0-1. 0-2, great fastball right there. Late on that swing. Put himself in a good position jumping ahead. 0 and 2 with the bases loaded. Yeah, now we'll 0 2. 1 and 2 now. <laughs> Alright, 1 2. A pitch to CT3 from Williams. Hit and fouled. All right, two two now. I feel like this top of this eighth has been like 25 minutes. It feels so long. Two two. And fouled. Darn it. <clears throat> two two to CT three. Pitch from Williams. Hit the center. This ball will be caught to end the inning. Taylor flies out to Taylor in center. All right, Shaw will lead off the bottom of the eighth. 77th pitch for Reyes. First pitch, strike one. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. One slider. Oh, and two. How many K does, does Julio have? I think he only has four in this game. Or two change up hit. McKenzie will field it and one away here in the bottom of the eighth. <clears throat> so one away and now that'll bring in Tyrone Taylor. Right, first pitch slider. Strike one. Oh, one slider. One and one. That's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball. Fastball, one, two. Tough take. 
on a terrific pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Looking for the strikeout. Here's Change up, hit. This one's down the Turner. Ball. Two away here in the bottom of the eighth. Stepping in next, Manny Pena. Right, Manny Pena, Pena will lead off the ball. Will be batting with two away here. Excuse me, first pitch, ball one. Someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Boy, they've been just oh. shut down right here. One and one. And they've even had a runner on. One and one. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt. Yeah, one one. Plate, one two. One ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Wow, that was an ugly swing right there. Yeah, one two change up. It no and Taylor will field it. And a one two three inning for Arias here in the bottom of the eighth. Damn, are we don't have three complete games. We're gonna go sit down the bullpen here. Sit him down and sit him down. There we go. And Turner will lead off the top of the ninth. First from Toba, ball one. Jern Betts do up in this inning 1-1 one, one. One and one. One and one. hey that was a nasty pitch right there ton of rotation on that ball you could almost see the red dot 2-1 oh, right. two balls and a strike to count high in the yeah. air down the right ball's gonna ball. this ball's gonna drop that's gonna be a they don't gonna call that a ground rule double because it jumped off the foul pole so a ground rule double, two for five day, and yeah, okay, that's a ground rule double. That's interesting. That's kind of cool to know about American Family Field if that ever happens in real life. All right, 0-1. one Struggling so far in this one and looking to raise his 0 for 4 ball game right here. All right, 0 1. 1 and 1 now. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Nice. 1 and 2. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. <clears throat> I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And, and a strikeout. One away here in the top of the ninth. Great pitch. Oh, that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Three for, for a home run and two singles. Yeah, first pitch to Betts. Ball one. <clears throat> really starting to turn around here in Milwaukee's series. One, one and one. Good sinker. <clears throat> Alright, one one now. And one two, well, good slider. So too late and now yeah, too guys, early swing. So much respect for this guy's fastball. You can tell one two now. On that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time. And a strikeout. And the so three for five day for Betts. And now that'll bring in Muncie. Next it'll be Max Muncie. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Max. Oh, no, 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 I did not mean to do that. Oh, okay, Turner. Whoops. My finger slipped. Alright. Or did it? I don't know. Alright, that bring in Luis Arias. Eight in eighth pitch of the game, strike one. Oh, one. Hit the right field, bets one away. So one away here in the bottom of the ninth. Man, Julio Reyes' strikeouts, they have not been as good as I wanted it to. Strike one. <laughs> like, I feel like they should have been, more, like, higher up at least eight or nine Ks in this ballgame, but four so far. And that's been it. Four Ks for Arias. One, two. I'm going to try and get number five here. One, two, slider away. Hit. Popped up and two away. McKinstry will catch it. And that bring Colton Wong, one for nine in the series. First pitch sweeping curve, strike one, 85 miles per hour. Oh, one. The fastball, one and one. Yeah, one, one. One, two. 
Uh, one two change up from Arias to Wong. It'll be hit to right field. This will hit off the wall. Betts will throw to second, and Wong will easily be safe. So a double with two away here in the bottom of the ninth for Colton Wong. And that being Daniel Robinson. First pitch, strike one. Daniel Robertson is two away now. One now. Hit the left, and this one's gone. Four to two, and the Brewers finally score some runs in the series. And Daniel Robinson's done to hit a two run home run, and the perfect game for Arias disappears. Like, not giving up any runs. And we're going to start warming up Kenley in the bullpen. Should have had him ready. He's going to start hurrying up for sure. First pitch. Strike one. Yeah, 0 1 change up, 0 and 2. Alright, 0 2 sweeping curve will be hit the left. Beatty having a hard time finding this one, but he will find it, and that will end the game. So, a complete game for Arias. He's happy about it. Yes, he's probably upset he gave up that bomb. But we'll take it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and uh, we'll take it, man. Three complete games from our starters. Crazy. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time in Chicago against the Cubs.